The exhibit looks excellent, Renee. We're not as groundbreaking as Jack's new work will be, I'm sure. Do you need something from me, Thomas? Nope. Just saying hello. Great. Because I just don't have time for our little song and dance today. But if you really need to work out some of those passive aggressive, I'm a prick muscles, there are some interns in the office who may be able to give you the reaction you get off on. Excuse me. Hello, yes. This, this part requires an actress who can really, really commit, you know, be able to do what it takes, okay. be really fearless. Can you do that? I think so. Good. Good. Do you have any tattoos? I'm sorry, tattoos? Yeah. It's Dr. Simmons, and my patient is in no condition to be harassed by the police right now. So if you wouldn't mind stepping outside, Exactly the what condition is my suspect in, Dr. Simmons? A couple of scratches driving him crazy? Yes. No, uh, no, I, I don't, um, uh, never mind. Will you go there with me? Yes. When? Mm -mm. Now. Can't you see it? The wooden bench looking out over the bridge, the city. All the lights. Are you working on anything right now, writing-wise? Oh, I just finished my fourth book. Fourth book? Mm -hmm. Really? Wow, you're such a show-off. Mm -hmm. And uh, the waitress, uh, you know what she said to me? What? She asked me if I wanted a cup of coffee. No. <laughs> yeah, I didn't need it. I mean, I live with a misanthropic, promiscuous, borderline alcoholic, and a and a and a spoiled, drug-addled, trisexual who frequently refers to my private parts as the Hurt Locker. <laughs> when the next guy with the tubes on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you did always make me laugh, too. I live at 63rd if you want to split a cab. Yeah? Okay. Okay. I really don't have the energy for this one. I don't even have the patience. Look at me. What are you not telling me? Mom, I gotta call you back. I know, I gotta go. I wish you were more than a memory. I am. We're all gonna be okay, Frank. Everything's gonna be okay. Wait! I think you're neat. That was really, really good. You got the part. Fuck you. I don't want it. I'm thinking 
about having a babe. A babe? Ooh. <laughs> what in the world would you do with a baby? Well, I'd eat it. Mm. Obviously. <laughs> I could take care of it, Madeline. What do you think I'd do? I really, I really don't have the energy for this one. I don't even have the patience. Look at me. What are you not telling me? He has symptoms I, I can't place. We've ruled out jaundice, steroids, dementia. He's simply not in the state of mind to deal with the stress of an investigation right now. I'm sure you understand. You better hope that man lives. Is he going to be helping enough for me to take him? Honestly, detective, I don't know. I've tried a number of treatments, but whatever that man needs to survive, we don't seem to have. No, come. You mustn't cry. This is their plan, then God fear me had. took my child. And I didn't even get a chance to say goodbye. He was just gone. And I couldn't stop thinking about him. Alone and scared. He needed me, and I wasn't there. He needed his mom. And there was nothing I could do. Seriously, wow. That was impressive. Thank you. I, I, I'm at a bit of a <clears throat> loss for words. I mean, that was, that was really special. How can you be so sure? Because you're a good person. <laughs> hey, look at me. You are, babe. Are you working on anything right now, writing-wise? I just finished my fourth book. Fourth book? Mm -hmm. Really? Wow, you're such a show-off. Mm -hmm. What's it about? It's a post-feminist analysis of romance in American literature since postmodernism. So it's a, it's a real page-turner? Mm -hmm. It hasn't made the bestseller list yet, but it is respected in some circles. Oh, I was, I was kidding. I'll, I'm going to read it. Oh, I look forward to your thoughts then. <laughs> <laughs>